Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to get better at karting. There's no need to watch this video with a professional driver. Because I think I know what I'm talking about. So now you've seen my epic MLG skills let's get to it. Cornering can be one of the best ways to improve your lap times. That or actually putting your foot down on the accelerator. What you want to do is use all of the track. As demonstrated by this Google search image. You want to brake before turning into the corner. Then you want to turn into the middle of the corner and accelerate out of the corner. This is called hitting the apex and is the basics of good cornering. However there are times when you might not use all of the track. As demonstrated here, I only move to the middle of the track as going right to the outside will lose time. This can happen if two corners are very close together. However this depends on the track you are at, so we won't go into much detail. There is also a secret trick that the pros don't want you to know about. Have you ever seen Initial D? Well Tofu Mantakumi Fujiwara uses the drift technique to go quickly. As you can see here it's super quick and very snazzy. You should show your mates next time the boys go karting. With this technique you'll soon be turning them last places into first places. Anyway on to the next section. Depending on your skill level overtaking can either be really easy or really hard. If you're a regular carter then overtaking rookies can be pretty easy. As I'm demonstrating right now. However if you're a rookie yourself then overtaking can be pretty hard. So what can you do? Overtaking someone on the same skill level as you on an indoor track can be pretty tricky. The best advice to give is to be patient and watch their lines. See where their weakness around the track is and exploit it. For example. During this recent members race I couldn't get past cart number 1. So I waited behind and saw that he was slower going into the first hairpin. So my plan of attack would be to outbreak him going into that hairpin. And let's see how that turned out. The perfect move. But in seriousness you might not be able to overtake cleanly for quite a bit of time. It just requires a bit of patience. If you overtake dirty you won't make many friends. And you'll be taken off the track for dangerous driving. Basically pass cleanly and don't be a dick. On to the next section. This one's both really easy and really hard. First the easy bit. When you get into the cart the pedal on your left is a brake. You'll want to use that on the track to slow down. Or you'll crash. That's the easy part. The hard part is to know where exactly on the brake pedal you need to be for the fast laps. Because go-karts are so light they can lock up the wheels when braking really easily. You'll know you've locked up your brakes because you'll hear your tires squeal when braking. This will cause you to lose time. There's a very fine line between perfect braking and locking up. And this can vary from cart to cart. The best thing to do is to find the limits of the brakes as soon as you can. Then ease off a tiny bit so you won't lock your brakes up. And that's about all I can tell you about braking for now. So let's get on to the final section. If you can't win races or get quick lap times then it's time to do the old fashioned trick. Get the book of excuses out. This is the best way to tell yourself and others that you're quick without actually having to be quick. Here's a few of my favorites. Number 1. I'm too heavy to be quick. Yes a go-kart will be slower with a heavier person inside it. However if you want to be serious about being quick then there's no reason to go for a run and lose weight. Unless you're like me when you're gifted with big muscles from birth and can't lose weight. So yeah. Hit the gym. Excuse number 2, I've never raced at this track. Yes having track knowledge is very important. But there's no reason to watch YouTube videos on the track to see the best lines. You won't be the fastest straight away, but you shouldn't be becoming behind rookies either. 
and now for every team sport member's favorite excuse. My cart is slow. When someone loses a race they will blame the cart every time. Even me. It's the oldest excuse in the book and works 100% of the time. If you know of any better excuses please let me know. And that's the end of this mini guide. Please don't take some of these too serious. It's not meant to be an official karting guide. Just a meme video. However if you did enjoy this please hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.